Well, hello everyone. It's Carrie back again with you from sunshineinmypocket.com. Today I'm sharing a fun croquet card with the Queen of Hearts. And I'm using this new croquet stamp set from Missing Stamps. It is a beautiful set. I used the Alice with the Flamingo earlier and or at least it was a couple weeks ago, I guess. But now I wanted to create a new croquet card with the Queen of Hearts. So I went ahead and colored up everything already. I have it all done here and I'm going to take the coordinating dies and go ahead and tape them all on so I can die cut them out. I love that there are now coordinating dies for all of the new Alice collection, even the old Alice collection. And so it's really easy to create cards with die cut images. I love that. Here's all the images all cut out. I went ahead and just colored all of them because I didn't know which ones at first I wanted to use. When I create cards, sometimes I'll create more images than I need and just see how they're gonna work out. I'm just arranging them here on a slimline card. You could create a really great scene for a, a slimline card using all of the images, but today I'm gonna create an A2 card with a little scene. I'm bringing in these rose bushes from the stamp set called Painting the Roses. I'm gonna stamp it a couple of times to get a nice dark impression, and then I'll color them up. I'm kind of excited to use this stamp because I haven't used it before, <laughs> but I thought these rose bushes would be perfect for creating kind of a backdrop for this croquet scene. I'm gonna start by coloring the bottom portion of these bushes with a darker green, and then I will use a lighter green to blend them out just a little bit so the tops are a little bit lighter than the bottom portion of each of these bushes. And then I'm gonna color the grass section just a touch with that medium color of green. Now some of this will get cut off when I use the coordinating die to cut this out and that's okay. And then I'm gonna take the lighter green and color in the leaves to the roses. And of course I have to make the roses red because that's what the Queen of Hearts would want. So I'm coloring the centers with a darker shade of red and then using a lighter shade to blend that out fully. But these roses are all gonna be red. Now I'll take that coordinating die. Look, look how beautiful this cuts out. I'm gonna tape that on and run it through my die cut machine. And here you go, here is our backdrop. So let's start putting our card scene together. I wanna to create kind of a grassy area and then a sky area for our card. And like I said, I'm gonna do an A2 card for this. So I'm gonna take this A2 size card panel and I'm going to add some tape. This is the mint tape that is very light tack adhesive. And I'm just gonna kind of tape off the portion that I want to be the grass. I will use Mode Lawn Distress Ink to ink that on. And then I'm gonna use this splatter stencil. I can't remember the name of it, but I will link that below. This is from Missing Stamps as well. And it is so great because they are like different sizes of little dots. So you can use this for snow, you can use it for any details. Today it's going to be some of the grass. And I used Mode Lawn at first and I decided it wasn't dark enough, so now I'm going in with some peacock feathers, Distress Ink, and that's creating kind of more of a texture that I'm looking for, a little bit darker than the green. And now what I'll do is replace that tape to cover up the grass area now, like that. And then I'll go ahead and create the sky using the same Peacock Feathers Distress Ink. After that has been ink blended, I am going to bring in this new stencil set. This is a two set stencil now. And that way you can color all of the hearts and diamonds in red and all of the clubs and spades in black. Missing Stamps had this stencil before all in one, but now it's two layers. So if you wanted to do the two colors, it's super simple to do. But today I'm just using it as kind of a design in the sky. Of course there will be hearts in the sky for the Queen of Hearts, right? <laughs> 
So there's a look at what our background is going to be. And now we're ready to build our scene. I'm just going to dry this off a little bit before I stamp the sentiment on. And this sentiment is kind of a fun one. It says, it's all fun and games until someone loses their head. <laughs> it's perfect. So I stamped that on with some dark black ink. And then I'm going to use this beautiful die set for the alphabet. This is the modern typeset frame die, and it's one of my favorite fonts. I'm gonna cut out the letters to spell the word croquet, and in order to color this up, I'm going to use some of that mint tape that I used for the grass and the sky, and I'm just gonna put the letters on so they don't move around too much for me. And then I'll take my Copic markers and color in the croquet using some reds. I'll use some darker red on the bottom portion of these alphas and lighter red on the top portion and kind of blend them out so we get more of a variegated look. And once that's complete, I'm going to place them on the card panel, trying to line them up as best as I can, getting them as straight as I can. So I love this look. The red on the croquet is beautiful. There's the little heart with the crown on top from the stamp set with the coordinating dies. And I think that looks really cute. So now let's go ahead and add the other elements. Here are the little rose bushes with the red roses. I'm gonna take a couple of those playing cards that are folded over to be the croquet game pieces and that little hedgehog that's the little croquet ball. It's perfect. Now to get this on the card the easiest way, I'm using some tape that's kind of like a low tack tape and picking all of the letters up at once, including the heart on top as well. And then I'll go ahead and tape that onto the card, lining it up as best I can. I'm gonna let that dry before I take the tape off. And then I'll glue down the bushes, the rose bushes with, or I guess they're kind of like trees here. I'll glue that down with liquid adhesive and then I'm going to use some foam tape for the playing cards and for the queen of hearts and the little hedgehog croquet ball. I'll just add those foam tape pieces and then add everything on to the card. Very simple and easy to put together. There's the queen of hearts with her flamingo. <laughs> And I'll pull that tape off because that's dry now. And now we can add this to our card base. Now my card base had a little jaggedy edge there. So sometimes I'll take a nail file, you know, one of those filing blocks. I don't really know what they're called, but I keep one in my craft room just for occasions like that. And it really seems to help. So I'll glue that on to the front. And to finish off this card, of course it needs a little glittery magic. So I'm using some stickles, and this one is the diamond stickles, so it's not as shiny, it's not as glittery, but it still has a little bit of glitter to it. So let me hold this up so that you can take a look. That's going to finish off our card, but look, see, you can kind of see that glittery, uh, let's see, you can see it right there on the roses. I love how this card came together. I think it's super, super fun, a really fun set to create with. I hope you enjoyed this video today. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and come back again and again. I'll have more cards to share real soon. Thanks for stopping by. Bye-bye.